Hey everybody, I am down in the heart of Longview today, Callis County, Southwest Washington, and we're gonna tell you the top five neighborhoods in the Longview Kelso area. Hey everybody, my name is Andrea Vincent and I'm with the Pine to Sea team with Realty One Group Pacifica. Uh, Aaron and I absolutely love getting phone calls from all over the United States from people looking to move here to Southwest Washington. So you can give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, uh, and if you're like my dear old grandmother, you can even still handwrite a note and stick it in the mail. So today I'm here with Brad Whitaker, the owner of Realty One Group Pacifica in Southwest Washington. And we have two offices, one in Longview and one in Long Beach on the Long Beach Peninsula. And so we're gonna talk about the uh, top five neighborhoods in the Longview Kelso area. Um, and so I guess we can start with number five. So number five is Lexington and it's in the Kelso area. Yep, it is. And so what is the Lexington neighborhood like? So Lexington is kind of this bit of an anomaly. It's in the city limits of Kelso, but uh, for the first time home buyer, it's the area that's all USDA eligible for their zero down programs. That's awesome. So it's, uh, it's, and it's the spot where there's been a lot of developments of subdivisions. And so you've got a couple of very large subdivisions over there that are just loaded with first time home buyer families. Uh, a lot of kids um, and uh, just some amazing opportunities over there to have a lot of people around you but still only be you know 60 seconds from a freeway exit uh, and still have it feel kind of like you're out in the country. And so number four would be Butler Acres. So Butler Acres is uh, a spot um, just inside Kelso City Limits. It's up on Kelso Hill. Uh, a lot of the places that people really want to go to have great schools in them, obviously. Uh, and Butler Acres uh, and the Kelso School District, they've got some really great stuff going on there. So Butler Acres is uh, older homes, uh, but very well-kept neighborhoods, really nice stuff. So it's, uh, it's one of those places where you typically don't see a whole bunch of first-time home buyers because uh, the homes are a little more established and can sometimes be a little more expensive. Uh, but definitely a desirable area for sure. And so number three is Cascade Way and City View. So Cascade Way and City View are one of the kind of Longview's premier area to live. City View is up on the top of a, of a little knob and uh, it's got some really, really high-end uh, developments up there. Uh, so you've got a lot of our doctors and, and, uh, and higher income earning people who live in the homes up there. They're considerably bigger than most places around town. And uh, again, it's uh, just one of those areas that, uh, you know, if, if you've got a, a certain amount of income, you typically want to live in that area because most of the people around you have similar size homes and, and care for their properties in a similar way. Nice views up there too, I'd imagine. Yeah, the views are pretty darn good up there. It depends on what side of the hill you're on, but yeah, yeah it's absolutely amazing up there. Number two is Terry Taylor. So Terry Taylor is an interesting area. Um, it is a, it is, it is middle income Americana without question. It's uh, a whole bunch of single story homes. Most of them were built in the fifties and sixties, some in the seventies. And uh, they actually have uh, kind of a, a citywide garage sale there every August. And uh, you know the the, uh, the neighborhood, all, they, everybody gets together and they they rent porta potties and put them on every corner, and they have literally tens of thousands of people. That's walking my through that's that my area. kind of jam oh, yeah. right there. Garage yeah, sale it is, hopping. It is the easiest place to garage sale and swap <laughs> uh, someone else's junk for your junk. It's great, uh, but it's one of those areas where the homes are just uh, affordable. A lot of the people are kind of aging out of that area. Um, so we see a lot of people, my in-laws live there. And uh, so they're in a spot in their life where they're getting up in age. And uh, at some point in the next five, 10, 15 years, uh, it looks like we'll see a lot of people rolling out of that development right, and right. Uh, younger families moving in. 
And for our number one spot, uh, we are sitting in it right now, actually. This is uh, Lake Sacagawea, right in the heart of Longview. And so the neighborhood around it, highly desirable. Yeah, you know, so they've, uh, when, when R.A. Long built this city, he dredged this lake out of basically nowhere. Uh, and then he built the city around it. So uh, this has been known as the Jewel of Longview for a long time. Um, the mill is a little bit uh, to our west here. And uh, the way that it was designed was uh, one side of the lake is where you see much more high-end custom homes where the mill managers lived. And then from the other side of the lake to the mill, you can see the homes get smaller and smaller and packed together more tightly because that's where the workers in the mill lived and owned homes. So you can completely see if, if you just drive down the streets, you can see the history really high-end homes. Yeah. Everything is custom, custom. And then you get further down and you get into more like the thousand to 1200, 800 square foot bungalows. So yeah, it's definitely, uh, I mean, you can see that it was a plan from the get-go. Yeah. yeah. And so, and they, <clears throat> uh, they stock this lake, am I correct? Yeah, so the lake is actually, all the water is pulled out of uh, one of our local rivers uh, and it's plumbed into here. Uh, and so they, uh, they stock the lake uh, typically for the kids to come and do trout fishing. And, uh, and you know, it's, it's, we've got a huge dock, um, not a marina type dock, but a big dock. We have our 4th of July celebration here, uh, the Lager Jubilee, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, fireworks spectacular here on the 4th and there's you know you'll you'll get 10 15 20 thousand people sitting on the banks of the lake and the grass and just watching uh, the go forth festival we've got you know basically three days of live bands um, of all types of music and it's just a real family friendly place to be in the fourth yeah and it's it's just nice period especially this time of year i mean you have all the trees blossoming the flowers i'm watching uh, baby geese following their moms around the lake right now. Um, there's trails all around it for joggers, walkers, strollers. Three and a half miles. Yeah, three and a half miles. And uh, I believe you can even uh, kayak on the, mm -hmm. and canoe on the, uh, the lake. So um, a lot of outdoor activities uh, around this part. And it's just, it is absolutely gorgeous. And with any of these neighborhoods um, and the city of Longview and Kelso as a whole, you know, you're only, what, 30 minutes from uh, Portland Airport? Yep. Um, so you've got Vancouver, Portland, you know, less than an hour away. Um, if you wanna go clamming on the beaches, you're about hour 45 minutes or so. So it's a really great place to be, not to mention you're right on the Columbia River. Um, you can take the Lewis and Clark Bridge over to Oregon. Um, so it's just endless possibilities to, to living here in the Longview, Kelso area. Uh, so if you'd like any more information, uh, if you'd like to move down here, um, relocate, want any information on any houses, any uh, video tours for houses, get a hold of uh, Aaron or I. You can call us, text us, email us, uh, visit our website, and we would absolutely love to help you out.